respected listeners i hope you are well by the grace of allah taala staying at home and uh, the students of our school i think you are enjoying our online classes and you are taking all the our classes and share the classes with your friends thank you uh, i am going to uh, take a class for the students of class 8 and this is uh, second class of right from of heart so in uh, my previous classes i discussed a lot about the primary uh, rules about the using of right from of heart okay let's start our class today first of all you can see i have written some sentences here and uh, in bracket you can see some verbs now we are going to practice the right use the verbs first of all Uh, I, I request you to write. Uh, you should write it to me. Uh, you should write the sentence from the white coat. Okay. While in bracket you can see go to school. I saw them playing. So here I must write the. I must know the right use of bar. Here, whenever you get bar after while. After, after, and before. You can see go after while. You can see complete after, after, and you can see go after before. So whenever you get half after while, after, and before, you will use ing with the base form of that part. So our answer would be going. And the sentence. While going to school, I saw them playing. Understood, yes, friends. And number two and number three, I think he will do it. That is, I go to bed after completing my homework. I request you to write the sentence at home in your notebook, and then I took my breakfast before going to school. So I request you to. Like again, the same rules about these three sentences before going to school. So again, I repeat: when you get half after why after and before, you must use ing with the verbs while going, after going, before going, after completing, before completing by this way. Now number four. My mother. So you might pass that in that return by Friday next. But you know, see here, you can see by is preposition and it is used before a time. This is Friday. This is the time, name of a day. So if whenever you see by plus time, so you must use the tense future perfect. You know the structure of future perfect that is subject plus will or shall. And plus have and verb three, past participle form of verb. So uh, the answer would be what my father, my father will have returned. Okay, by Friday next. The answer full sentence: My father will have returned by Friday next. So again, I repeat: How do you get time? And before time, you can you will see by in that sentences your heart must be written in according to what future perfect tense. And I think, <coughs> but here you can see number five. This is a little bit different. That is, we visit the zoo next week. You can't see here by. So it's very simple. It is uh, future tense and simple future. If whenever you see by, you will use future perfect. When you can't see by before the time, you should not use future perfect. In that case, you will use only simple future. That is, we will visit or we shall visit. Okay. And. What can you see here? Number six. He in bracket go to Dhaka tomorrow. Uh, here, here you can see tomorrow is the um, I think future indicating time. So 
it can write this sentence by two ways. You know, he in bracket go to Dhaka tomorrow. So time is fixed. In that case, he will use future indefinite or present continuous. So he can write, he will go to Dhaka, he will go or he is going. You can you can use present continuous tense because though it is future but time is fixed. I think all preparation uh, for going to Dhaka has been completed. Now he is going to Dhaka tomorrow. Okay. Now number seven. He said that he in bracket visit the Taj Mahal. You can see here he said that that a conjunction and before this you can see a subject and verb. According to species, I mean narrations, it's a reporting verb. So you know that if the reporting verb is in the past form, so the opposite reported species must be past perfect. So you can say to be we have visited. So it said I have written it according to narration. Uh, now what can you see? Hassan said that he go home next week. A little bit difference between 7 and 8. Here also you can see this reporting bar. This is that. But then you can see the next day. This is, a, this is a future. So you can't write this past perfect according to 7. No, you should not write this. Here, as there is the next day, it was only simple feature. And in that case, the answer would be, he would go. Understood? Here, here we can't see any time, but here you can see the future time. So in that case, I have written. So, uh, I, I, I want to remind you in the direct speech of this sentence. He said, comma, you had a comma. I will go home tomorrow. And the indirect speech is, he said that he would go home the next day. Dear students, I think you understood. At number nine, we can see after I in bracket finish the homework, I going to school. And then you can see two crosses here. You can see what big sentence is two crosses. One is I going to school and another is after I finish the homework. So, you can see here past indefinite tense. When is the past form of go. So, this past indefinite. So, you know that after, whenever you can see past indefinite, so other clause will be past perfect if there is after. So, your answer should be had finished. Okay, yes, let's had finished. After the answer, after I had finished the homework, I went to school. One is past indefinite and another is past perfect. That's why I have used here after. Same thing number 10. What can you see? This is big sentence. This is a uh, big sentence that means two crosses here. Many years have passed since this conjunction. And your father passed his examination and many years have passed two crosses. Two crosses are used to make a big sentence. So many years have passed. You can see a present perfect and the convention since. So whenever you see present indefinite or present perfect before since, your next cross would be what? Past indefinite. The answer should be past. So answer is many years have passed since your father passed the SSC exam. Understood? Again I repeat. If there is present definite or present perfect before since, the opposite cross would be past indefinite. That should be in form of past indefinite form. Okay. And number 11, same things. But you can see a little bit different. What can you see? You can see here since. Again, since. But before since, you can see it was past indefinite. It was long. It was long time. It was long. So, a yeah, past indefinite this is. Whenever you see past indefinite before since, you must write past perfect after 
the next box. So have seen. Your answer will be it was long since since I had seen you last. Again I repeat when you get since as a conjunction in the middle of the sentence you have to be sincere using the past indefinite or past perfect. Whenever you see present indefinite or present perfect, you use past indefinite in the next clause. And whenever you get past indefinite, you must use past perfect. Okay, number 12 and 13. And same rules here. That is as if, you can see conjunction as if and you can conjunction as though. This is fresh. As if and it, it is uh, working as a linkage. But here you can see you talk and he acts. What can you see? You talk and he acts. This is also present indefinite. This is also present indefinite. Okay. If you see present indefinite before as if or as though, the verb of the opposite clause should be in the past form. So your answer will be new. So answer is you talk as if you knew everything, and he acts. As though, same rule, there is no difference between as if or as, as though. He acts pretty indefinite as though he. Here you can see be part. So, after, at the time of using as if or as though, if you see be part in the second phrase, uh, then you must be fired. After all subjects, you must not, we should not use here was. We know what is used after he, but here in that case, we must write where as there is, as if, or as though. Let's try to give another example that is, if there, if it would be he acted as though, this is past indefinite in front of as though. The opposite cross, the half of the opposite cross would be in past perfect. So we know subject he and be verb. So according to past perfect, I have to use had and the past participle form of be that is been, he has been powerful. Okay, dear students, I hope you have understood and you have written all the examples from the board. And I would like to request you to revise uh, the rules of the right form of verbs and you study at home continuously according to your routine and there are more rules about the use of right form verbs. Inshallah I will take another class on this item. Uh, that's all and I hope you, I pray to Almighty Allah uh, to save our and all the people of the world from COVID-19. Okay, thank you. Dear students, that's all. Allah bless.